Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Today's video is going to be how I transform Riley's playroom into a Montessori room. So it's not going to be authentic because of the colors and everything, but I am going to make it as Montessori as I can, and I'm really excited to show you guys how I do that. If you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get on into transforming this room. All right, so first off, that shelf back there. It's not gonna work out very well with us when we wanna do a Montessori room, so we need to get proper shelves. So I ordered some on Amazon, which are these ones right here. These are from Closet Made, they are kids space. These are the ones that had pretty good reviews and also were the least expensive that I could find. I found other ones that I really liked, but they were pretty pricey and I was not down to spend that much money on shelves. So, it is time to build the shelves. This thing is freaking powerful. Oh dear, this is going to suck. All right, so this thing has been a pain to build and I have messed up so many times and I just had to screw, like fix another screw up. I went ahead and bolted this board backwards so I had the white side on this side rather than this side on the other side. So when you looked at the cabinets, you saw this and not the white. Yeah, so I had to take it off and I've kind of messed up a few little areas but I think I can salvage it. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully the second one that I have to build <laughs> will go a lot more smoothly. Okay guys, so I did it. I'm very happy with myself, but I'm kind of mad because it took me so many hours to build it. I still have one more to go, but at least I know exactly how to build this thing. So let's see how quickly I can get it done. And I definitely will be having Joel check these out before when he gets home to make sure that they're not gonna collapse on little Riley. <laughs> there are also like little earthquake hooks and stuff like that that I can put on the back. So I'm gonna allow him to do that because that is going to go into the wall and I am not about to do that part because we all know Madison will probably destroy the wall and that will be a little bit harder to fix. So I'm gonna have Joel do that when he gets home, but time to build this one. I'm too impatient to wait for him to build these so I wanna get these done. Okay, so that one took legit 20 minutes to build. <laughs> I wasted so much time on that one because I didn't understand the bolts and everything and I just don't understand it, but this one was way better and this one is actually a lot sturdier. It's built a lot better. I'm definitely gonna have Joel take a look at this one to make sure, but this one I know that is staying put. So yeah, Madison is learning how to build items, fun stuff. But anyways, it's time to fill up these shelves really quickly. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. I was going to do a big time lapse of it all, but I really don't even know what I'm going to do with them. So I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so here is a quick little update of everything. So this is what the room looks like right now. There's still so much I need to organize and get together. I'm actually getting rid of a lot of toys 
that I just don't think are worth it. She never touches. I've given a lot to my sister already. And then this is kind of what I got going on with the shelves. It's definitely going to change because I feel like there's just way too much on here. So I want to kind of have it to where I have a bin and I think I'm going to keep it stored in the bathroom because the bathroom is huge. The people that designed this house made the downstairs guest room with the bathroom like ginormous. It's such wasted space. So I think I'm actually going to store like a tub in there and I'm gonna switch out the shelves. So I wanna get trays and stuff so that way she can easily pick up the toys or the jobs with two hands and keep them somewhat like, you know, not cluttered. But this is what I have going on right now. I still have a lot more toys. I moved the other storage unit that I had in here out into my living room. Let me show you. I don't know if it's gonna stay out here to be honest because Joel said he didn't want it out here. So I picked up the train tracks because I think she's okay. She can actually just drive this thing around the house but this is what I have out here. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I can definitely get it to where it looks a little bit better. You can see how all the toys just kind of congregated right there. So that's why I kind of wanted to move this out here. So that way she can also have toys access here. And I'm actually cleaning up everything. So I'm getting rid of stuff that one, we lost pieces to, and they're just going in that bag. But yeah, I figured I could do the rest of this with her here just as long as I already had the building and everything done because I had a lot of little screws and stuff so I have to make sure everything is picked up before I pick her up because I don't want her like any risk of her swallowing anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and go get her and we're gonna come back, eat a snack and then finish up organizing all the toys. All right guys, it is the next day. I just picked up Riley from daycare and now we're gonna finish tackling this room together <laughs> just because I didn't have time to do it when she was at daycare so right now we are going to be unboxing everything i got all of my bins and my trays of what i'm going to do with the toys so that way i can declutter the shelves and all that i'm telling you daiso is the way to go i got all of this from daiso like look at these all of these all of that this too and this like bag is full i got all those things for 60 dollars it's crazy if you would have bought these types of bins online on Amazon, it would have been so much money. I was telling the guy that and he's like, I feel like Amazon has good prices. I was like, no, not like Daiso, trust me. I've learned this lesson when I was going through Montessori training, when we had to make our own jobs and do like basically make our shelves and everything. So we need to get tons of trays. And I have a ton of them actually stored up away, but I am not going into that closet. But I picked up a ton of the stuff. Um, I even ordered a laminator because I'm gonna be making some family cards because I wanna really start working with her on saying everyone's name. So we have like Mimi's and Papa's and uncles and aunts and everything. So I'm gonna take everyone's picture, put it to these cards and we're gonna practice with them. So that is one job I'm gonna do and I'll show you guys how I make it in a later video. But right now it's mainly just getting all the stickers off of these um, trays and getting everything organized and deciding what I want on the shelves right now. So I'm gonna do that really fast. I would leave this for a time lapse, but I feel like this one's gonna go right for the camera. So I actually gotta hide the camera. So I'll probably show a little bit of a time lapse later on. Every time I put something new on this shelf, this one takes them off and they end up all over the floor again. So it's like literally I'm doing, I just keep re-putting things. Yeah, tell me about it. I just keep, honestly, like I put something on the shelf, I'm working on something new, she takes it out, it's all over the floor, and then I have to put that one away and then work on something new and it's just been like that the whole time. Can you use this how you're supposed to use it? Right? Use it how you're supposed to use it. Blow. Can you make a sound for me? Make a sound. Oh dear. <laughs> Make a sound. Yeah. Those are two different weights. They're opposite. So this one's really heavy and that one's really light. Yeah, that one's heavy. You gotta, you gotta really push it up there. There you go. Hey everyone, so this little one just woke up from a nap and we're gonna go look at her new playroom. So I finished putting everything together last night while she was asleep, it was a really late night. So I want her to go see her new playroom, you ready? Okay, go to your playroom. Come on, go to your playroom. Yes, we have Amazon packages outside. Oh, you found your ball. Okay, go in. Oh my goodness, is this your new playroom? 
How exciting! Wow! Is that a new buckle toy? Yeah? Ollie. <gasps> Look at that! Wow! You excited? Oh! <laughs> Look at how fun. This is from Love Every. It's from the 22, 23, 24 month box. She's looking at all of them. I'm still waiting to get a table for in here. So I'm going to teach her how to hopefully hold those things with two hands and bring them to the mat. But oh my goodness. Oh, Riley, one thing at a time. Riley. And here we go. <laughs> She's taking everything off the shelves now. Okay guys, so here is the overview of the finished playroom. I wanted to kind of close out this video, kind of show you guys everything, how it turned out, what I have on the shelves. So I have these two shelves that I got from Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Once I kind of figured out how to build them, they were actually pretty easy. This one was like, took me maybe 20 minutes. That one took me a couple hours. <laughs> I know, it just, uh, I finally learned what some different types of screws are that I've never seen before, so there we go. But I went through and added the stuff on the shelves that I think is best for her right now. So I will have everything linked down below if you guys are curious about anything. Same thing with our little book corner. This little area, I need to hang this up. I'm gonna have Joel do it for me so I don't completely damage the wall. But I have a little book corner for her right here. This is a little table that Joel's mom got her for Christmas, but I'm still going to go and get a bigger table for this room to put right here. So that way she can take her jobs, put them to the table, and she'll be good to go. But this is a pull-out couch that we have in here because we have Joel's family that comes and stay with us, or if we travel, we have someone that comes in and stays with the dogs, and it pulls out into a queen bed. And then this is the wallpaper. I'll have this also linked down below. <laughs> so cute, I love how pretty this room turned out. And then I've got my water, my phone, and everything like that, and then my extra booster seat, which is underneath there. But yeah, so, oh, over here we have a little training bike thing that Joel's parents got Riley for her first birthday. And then we also have the Love Every stroller with a couple of her dolls. This is the Elsa doll that I actually got at the Broadway show that we went to in New York for Riley. Me and my sister and my mom were actually going to the one here in San Diego. I'm so excited, but hopefully it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> so anyways, we got the diaper pail right there. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go through the shelves. So on top of here, I have the geometric shape puzzles. These are ones that we are really working on because she kind of struggles with puzzles. She gets kind of really, she really gets frustrated with them, but we got to work on those. Then we have the cup towers right here for stacking. And then we've got the threading job. And then we have this really fun one with the balls. They make different sounds so you can hear. They all have like different rattles to them and she just pops them in the top and then each side of this container right here has different doors. So she has to kind of figure out how to get into them which is really neat. So again, this is from Love Every. And then we have the bug shrub job where it's basically you put the bugs in the shrub so they kind of reinforce where the bugs go and she really loves it. Honestly, you guys, I am still teaching her how to properly use the shelves, how to properly do the jobs. I just kind of reinforce and give her lessons on it. But she loves to take this thing out and she likes to go through and put everything inside of it. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. So I just kind of let her do her thing, but I also try to show her how to do the job and how to put them back on the shelves. So next up we have a animal matching game right here that I got from Love Every. So it has like the little animals there that she can match them to. She's still learning that. She loves the buckle toy, absolutely has so much fun with that and then this is a ramp toy that she ha got from love every and they're like little cars so she can race them she really enjoys that one too and then we have this peg stacking toy that we got from love every it's really neat she likes it you can just stack them and do all different things then we have a shape sorter which actually comes with a ton of blocks but i ended up just putting them away because i don't think she's quite ready for them yet so instead i only put the shapes that will fit for this so she has her shape sorter that is another thing that we're working on and then we have our lock box which is also from love every and i love this one because each side has a different lock. So I have the little set that has all the different locks, but they're all different blocks. So they take up a lot more space. So this is really nice to have on the shelf to where it's not gonna take as much space as the other ones. Okay, so over here on the shelf, we have a shape puzzle. Then we have the flashlight that we got in Love Every. She's been really loving this. And then I also have this little puzzle case right here, which you guys should definitely check this out. It's for the Melissa and Doug puzzles. So it fits them all perfectly, but I really love the ones with the little notches on them because it really works with their pincer grass, but we've got all different types of puzzles. 
And then when we go down here, we have a bigger wooden puzzle from Love Every. And then I have a table setting set right here that I made for her. She really loves this one. She actually takes all of this to that little table and she will set it all out. It is the cutest thing ever. And then this is a pouring job, but I haven't put anything in here for her to pour yet. I need to find things that I wanna put in there. And then this is a little like ball posting job and then she just slides it, grabs the balls out. This is another one from Love Every. And then here is another one that I kind of changed up because we got these in Love Every and I actually like the tweezers and the felt stars a lot better than what I had in here already. So we have this little tweezing one where she just takes it here and then puts it into the ice tray and then so forth and so forth. So really great little job to work on their pincer grabs and strengthen those muscles and that coordination. And then we have a button job right here where she takes the buttons and she sticks them on the colors. And what's great is that this one actually comes with multiple sheets so she can create different designs. Then we have the Simon Says Cube, which is really cute. I have yet to play this with her, but we will be playing it very, very soon. And then we have a coin posting job right here where she just posts the coins right through there. And yeah, so that is everything here. And then this is the critter board where basically I could take out all these little pieces and then she could put them where they go. So it's kind of like critter matching basically with the different animals. Um, we have a rug here, which I'm going to be teaching her to roll out the rug and working on a rug and keeping everything on her rug. If it's a rug job, I felt like I said rug a lot. <laughs> and then we have some books in here for her to look at. Her favorite one right now, which she's been really getting into books. I've been so happy because she could care less about books, you guys. But she loves this one. This is Leo and Melody at the farm. This is from Love Every and what's great is it's got textures in it So it's even got like all the feeling of like what a sheet feels like and everything so she really enjoys this one It's got to be like her favorite book and I just kind of set it up with her chair right here So she can sit in her chair and read a book and then she's got her table next to her So that is everything in this playroom you guys um, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out I will be kind of changing things out on the shelves seeing how if she's mastering different jobs or seeing if she's getting bored with something and I need to like kind of add something else in there for her I will be changing that out as well so yeah I'm really happy with the way that this room turned out if you guys have any questions about anything leave them down below I will sit and I will talk with you guys and help you in any way that I can everything that I showed in this video will be linked down below so definitely check that out and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this playroom tour and organizing video and I will see you guys in my next one bye